And we're back with another Project Zomboid Mod Showcase. So yeah, this one's going to be on the 74AM General M151A2. Let's get started. Alright, so here we are. We have the front view, the back view, and the side view for you guys. And underneath the hood of the Mutt, we have the following features. If you want to go ahead and pause the screen, go ahead and do so. This one also has a hood animation, which is pretty cool. Onto the back of the vehicle, we have a nice trunk storage of a maximum of 65 capacity and a nice little freezer to go with it. It's only a capacity of one, though. Moving on to the inside of the vehicle, we have a nice little animation with the door there. Inside of the vehicle, we have a bunch of options, as you see here, pretty much the normal. We're going to start with a horn. Pretty much normal. Moving on to the headlights, just hit the F key. Boom, 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 boom. Looks pretty cool, though. And on to devices, we do have a radio inside. Go ahead and turn it on if you wish to do so. You can also roll down the windows, and it does have an animation there. It's pretty cool. This is a four-seater vehicle, so you can hop the seats if you wish to choose so. Here we have the 74AM General 151A2. And we have a couple of variations for you to take a look at. Let's check them out. All right, and these are some of the beauties that you're going to come across in your playthrough. Um, I'm going to say this is my favorite color. I don't know what it is about this camo look, but I love it, dude. And now onto the test drive. I'm driving this bad boy. Here we go, boys. Let's go check it out. Let's do some driving. Oh, yeah. All right, so after driving this thing for a little bit, um, I do have to say... I, oh, God. Jesus, dude. All right, after driving it around a bit, I do love the handling on this mod. I think it's awesome. I think you guys will like this mod, too. Um, if you do, let me know in the comments. Also, I've covered this mod developer's mods before, and I have to say I completely love just about all of them. So you definitely can expect more mods from this creator in the future. And we're back with another Project Zomboy Mod Showcase. Now this one I could not turn it down as soon as I seen it. This one is on the refrigerated ice cream trucks. This is a freezer version. There is another version that doesn't have the freezer. Let's get going. All right, so here we are with the first ice cream truck. There are two variations with this vehicle. Here's the front view, the back view, and the side view for you guys. Go ahead and take a look. Moving on to the back of the vehicle, there's a nice freaking animation here with the doors, and there's also a storage capacity of 160. Freaking awesome, dude. And it's a freezer. Bonus. All right, we're going to pop the hood here. There's a nice little animation for the hood. That's cool. Inside the vehicle, this is what you can expect. Go ahead and pause the screen if you want to take a look at all this. Moving on. All right, inside of the vehicle, now we have all these options here. We do have a light bar. Don't use it because it doesn't matter. But there is a siren for this baby. Let's go ahead and use it. Let's start with the Yelp. Freaking awesome, dude. Whale. Well, even better. Alarm. So cool. Love it. All right, moving on. And then we have the headlights. Go ahead and hit the F key. Freaking awesome, dude. I didn't notice this at first, but that's pretty cool. And the horn. Sounds like a regular horn. Moving on. And everything else is pretty much the standard. We do have a radio as well as a glove compartment that holds capacity of 10. And there you have it, boys. That is the ice cream truck. Now there is another variation. I'm going to go ahead and show you that real quick. All right, let's squeeze up in here, but we got it. Uh, we have a back view, a front view, and a side view. It is a red version. Looks pretty sweet, I think. Has the same exact functions because it's the same exact vehicle, so. And we're here with another Project Zomboid Mod Showcase. This one is called the XM93 Fox. Let's go. All right, here we have the back view, front view, and side view for you guys. I freaking love it. I don't know what you guys think, but let me know in the comments. All right, here we have the specs of the XM93 Woodland. Go ahead and pause the screen if you want to take a look at this baby, see what it has to offer you. Inside of the vehicle, we have a bunch of options, as you see here. Pretty much normal. We're going to start with the headlights. There we go. Looks freaking sweet. As you can see here, there is no horn on this vehicle. Moving on. Inside of the vehicle, we have two containers that you can use for storage. We have a 30 maximum weight capacity, and also a 120 maximum storage capacity. That's freaking sick, dude. And it just started pouring on me all of a sudden. That's cool. Uh, there is no truck on this vehicle. This is the Woodland XM93 Fox. Moving on to the next variant. All right, it just started to be a typhoon on me. That's pretty cool. All right, well, this is the second variant here. We have a front view, a back view, and a side view for you guys. Let's get inside of it. Okay, inside of the vehicle, we still have the same headlights, we still have the same information because it is the same exact vehicle. So that is the XM93 Fox. Let's go for a test drive. I can't wait to do this, dudes. Let's go. All right, ladies and boys, here we go. We're driving this thing. Oh, this thing drives awesome, dude. We're going to keep driving. I'm going to see how this thing goes. Oh, this is freaking sweet, dude. Hi, zombies. You want to die today? You do? Okay, thanks. Bye. See ya. Oh, the blood on this thing looks pretty cool, too. Check that out. Yeah, man. Oh, yeah. And we're back with another Project Zomboid Mod Showcase. And this one's featuring the Auto Tuner Day Rumba Van. Could this van be your next base? Well, let's see. Let's go. 
Here we have the front view, the back view, and the side view for you guys. Under the hood, and there is no animation on the hood. If you want to go and pause your screen and take a look at this stuff, go right ahead and do so. Under the back of the vehicle, there's no animation on the trunk. However, the trunk capacity is 30. And if you're lucky enough to obtain a roof rack, well, awesome, because it has a 200 weight capacity. And it also supports a roof toolbox. If you happen to find one of those in the world, you can definitely install that on top of it. And onto inside of the vehicle. Here are the options here. We're going to start with the horn. Sounds pretty standard. We're going to go on to the headlights. Boom, 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 boom. And if you notice, there's armor on this vehicle. It's definitely supported, so you can install it if you wish to do so. And the answer to the question that I asked at the beginning, can you make this vehicle your base? Absolutely, you definitely can, and this is how. One thing that's pretty cool about this vehicle, it does have a side door, so you can get right into your base if you want to. And just like the other tuning mods, you can definitely switch seats, and each seat equals a different appliance or appliances. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. In the third seat, we have a stove as well as a bed, which is pretty cool. And in the fourth seat, we have available a freezer and a, another stove. Interesting. All right, well, we could change that out if we wanted to. Moving on. Now, if you're moving to the front seats, you have to actually get out of the seat. If you go ahead and click the button, however, it will do it all by itself, just like you see. Boom, just like that. And if you're wondering on how to install appliances to this vehicle, right here you see four spaces that are free for you. You can go ahead and uninstall one of these, which is right now we're on a microwave. Just uninstall just like that. He'll go back there and he will rip that thing right out of there, just like so, and then install it with, let's just put, I don't know, a fridge. Sounds good. Do it. There you go. You can find this stuff in the world, by the way. And if you don't like what's already on your vehicle, such as the armor, what have you, you can also uninstall that as well. In order to do all that stuff, though, you will need a magazine. This is the magazine you need. It comes with all this knowledge that you see here, so you can do everything on this list. All right, boys, it's time for the test drive. Let's get in this thing, turn on the ignition, and see how it sounds. Oh, yeah. All right, here we go, boys. The driving is great with this vehicle. I didn't have a problem steering the thing. I think turns were great. The speed of the vehicle is awesome. And I really don't have anything bad to say about the thing. I think it's really enjoyable and I think you should have it. And we're back with another Project Zomboid Mod Showcase. This one's featuring the 84 Mercedes-Benz W460. Another beauty by KI5. I can't wait to show you guys, so let's go! Alright, here we have the front view, the back view, and the side view for you guys. On to under the hood. Nice little animation there. If you want to go ahead and pause the screen, go ahead and do so. Go ahead and check this stuff out. Here we have the trunk. Another nice little animation. The maximum capacity here is 85. Moving on. And if you do happen to find the roof rack in the world, well, it does have a maximum capacity of 85. And onto the inside of the vehicle, there is a nice little animation on the door. Inside of the vehicle, here are your options here. We're going to go ahead and start with the horn. Sounds like pretty much standard. Moving on. Here's your headlights. Boom, 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 boom. Freaking sick, dude. And that is but only one of the W460s available in this mod. We're going to check out the other ones. This is the long wheel two door version. On to the next one. And here we have the long wheel four door version of the vehicle with the side view, front view, and back view for you guys. Everything else is pretty much the same. We'll move on to the next one. And last but not least, this is the short wheel version of the W460. And we have the front view, the side view, and the back view for you guys. Everything else is pretty much the same. Moving on. And just like most KI5 vehicles, there's plenty of parts in the world you can go ahead and scavenge and search around for. Here's some of the parts that I have laid down on the floor for you guys. And yeah, go ahead and customize this thing as you wish. Frickin' sweet, dude. All you need is just a wrench or a screwdriver. And now, boys, it's time for the test drive. Let's do it. If I can get into this thing. Okay, there we go. Boom. All right, let's start up that baby. Oh, yeah. All right, let's go, boys. Some things I do want to point out about this vehicle. This vehicle can spawn in at any random place. It also has many textures available for you guys. And this vehicle supports armor plates. What else can you ask for, dudes? All right, after driving this thing for a bit, I did love it. I think it's freaking awesome because I suck at driving in this game. And this thing makes me feel like I'm freaking awesome. So, yeah, it's easy to drive, easy to handle. Everything's great about this mod. I'd strongly suggest it. KI5 makes some of the best mods that there is. If you don't have it, you should have it. Go ahead and get it. Links are down below in the description. That's it for this video. If you like this video, go dragon smash that like button and subscribe. Become one with us dragons. And I hope to catch you in the next video. Goodbye for now.